This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the laptop screen doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus X55 laptop computer with a cracked screen. And I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Asus X55 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we need to remove all sources of power, and that includes removing the battery. And in order to do this, we flip the laptop over. There's two levers on this, either side of the battery. We slide the left lever over to unlock it, and then we slide the right lever to release the battery, and then we can slide the battery out. While we're on the bottom of the laptop, I'll show you where to find the model number for this laptop. And there's a blue label on the bottom, and the first line says model X55A. So ASUS has a letter after the X55. It can be A, C, or H, but the procedure and the screen is the same for all cases. So this one is a X55A. Also, you can find the model number sometimes on the palm rest. There's a label here that sometimes people take off, but the model number is given here. Okay, the next step is to remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame that goes around the screen. In order to remove the screen bezel, we have to remove the two screws at the bottom that are hiding behind some plastic covers. Before we do that, I'll show you the tools that we're going to use for this procedure. First, we have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size. We also have a PH00 electronics screwdriver. That's for smaller screws. And a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver to pry things open if we need to. We also have an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife with a point and blade, and that's to remove screw covers and also adhesive tape if needed. And a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck. So let's get started. So we use our hobby knife to remove the rubber screw covers or the plastic screw covers. And this one jumped off, but here it is. So it's right here, and what I like to do is put it right next to the screw opening so we don't lose it. And we do the same thing for the second one, and hopefully I can do it smoother this time and not lose it. Okay, and we put it to the side here. Once we remove the screw covers, we remove the screws on the bottom. So we start with one, and for each step, for each set of screws, what I like to do is put them in a separate pile and keep the piles in the order in which I removed them, so I know which screw goes where when we put the laptop back together. Once we remove the screws, we can snap the screen bezel off. In order to do that, we put the, our fingertips on the screen side and gently lift up and out and listen for snapping sounds. And we work our way around the screen. And this side is a little bit harder, so we see where there is not as hard, like so. And if, like I showed you, if we get stuck at a point, we just go around to a different place and come back to the place we're stuck at. So we're stuck a little bit at the top and we're going to come back to that. So we go around the bottom and keep snapping it off and come back to the top. And so we're going to keep going, maybe use a little bit more force. I didn't break anything, so it's okay. And once we do that, we lift the screen bezel forward and up like so, and it's removed. Okay, for this type of screen, it's mounted on some metal brackets on the side of the screen, so the screws are on the side. 
and we need to have access to the screws and in this case there's only one screw that we need to have access to here and that makes the job a lot easier so it's the same thing here there's only one screw so we're going to try a couple of things first we're going to try with a ph1 screwdriver see if we can reach the screw and we can so it's slightly at an angle if you're uncomfortable with the ph1 screw try the ph00 screwdriver and that makes it a little bit easier to reach the screw and we put it to the side and we do the same thing for the other side so one screw on each side which makes the job a lot easier usually there's two or three screws on each side but this particular model is secured only by one screw all right once we do that we gently start tilting the screen forward and when i was tilting it forward there's some adhesive i heard that came off if in your case the adhesive doesn't come off and there's some cable that comes with the screen just put your finger there to keep the cable in place while we move carefully move the screen down like so okay and we put the screen down for this type of screen there's only one connector on the back of the screen and secured by adhesive tape so that's our next step is to use our fingernails to lift up the adhesive tape like so Be being careful not to damage the connector when we do it and also the video cable at the back of the connector has adhesive that is attached to the back of the screen so we gently lift that up with our fingertips like so once we do that we can pull the connector back and release it like so okay uh, before we go any further i'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector because i see it as a source of trouble sometimes when you slide the connector back in you'll feel but not hear two clicks that means it's properly engaged and also let's get a close-up of what a proper connection should look like okay pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks like this there should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection the two sides of the connection should be flush with each other All right, let's keep moving the next step and we'll take the connector out again and the screen is free we can take the screen out right now okay let's take a look at the part number for this screen it's LTN 156 AT24 that's the part number you're looking for when you're looking for a replacement it's a 15.6 inch LED screen and as of late 2012 it's the most common laptop screen out there Okay, you can also uh, buy this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons. And what you get with us is this exact toolkit that you see here. It comes for uh, free with the screen, with the screen we ship. We also have a two-year warranty on the screen. So if anything goes wrong other than accidental damage with the screen over two years, we'll send you another one at no charge. We have free email technical support. So if you get stuck at some point along the procedure, send this email and we'll help you out. And finally, we have fast shipping. We, ha we ship from warehouses both on the East Coast and the West Coast. So most likely you'll get your screen in two or three days or less if you're in the continental United States. And also, if you're outside the United States, we ship to most countries around the world. Just go through a standard checkout procedure in our shopping cart. To buy this screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. To help you find the right screen, there will be a short form for you to fill out. So just fill out with the laptop model, and then we'll guide you to the right screen to buy it online. Okay, once you do get the screen in, connect the connector as I showed you mount the screen in back here and you only have to put in two screws one over here and one over here it's slightly at an angle so you can use the PH00 screwdriver and if you're having a little bit of trouble 
you can remove these screws at the top to loosen this up and then you can put you can put the screen in once you put the screen in and tighten those screws you snap the screen bezel back on put the two screws in at the bottom and the screw covers and you're done and that should be it okay that's it once again my name is Eugene Panrutkovich I'm the laptop screen doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com thank you very much and good luck